This is a tutorial video for um, Noel Gallagher's um, High Flying Bird song, Council Skies, which comes from the same uh, album, uh, with the same name, it's entitled. Um, I uploaded this video a couple of days ago um, and I was asked in the comments if I would uh, do a tutorial. So I'm just going to get straight into it and just do a quick tutorial. Um, it's in the key of B major and it's with a capo on the second fret. As Noel uses a lot of capos for his stuff, um, as many of you will know, you follow his music. So with the capo on, when I refer to any chord shapes, I'm going to refer to them as though they're open chords, but obviously with the capo, just for clarity. So basically there's four sections to this song uh, in its entirety, and I'll just go through each section uh, one by one. The strumming pattern to it is quite simple, it's just a continuous kind of a strum. I know Noel's referred to it as a bit of a bossa nova beat in his um, interviews about it recently um, so the strumming is quite simple to refer uh, nothing hard and fast about it so I'll get into the um, the first section so the first chord shape it would be like a, an E major shape but you're moving it up the fret to the B position as if you was doing a root 6 B chord which would be that so instead of having your, your full bar finger off you just take that off completely left with that just like lovely like floating chord as I refer to them so that's the opening chord so if, the strumming pattern for it is obviously this so that's the first chord the second chord shape is basically like an A sus 2 but you move that up to the fifth fret basically like going from a major to a minor that's all it is uh, but with a different kind of a tone to it so that A sus 2 chord is your second chord moved up to this fifth fret as I say that's with the capo on so it'd be the fifth with the capo on so so the, the, the first section um, that I talk about is those two chords and this is how it's strummed together so it's Okay, so that's the first section. The second section, again, we've got two more chords, and the shape of these, the first one is like a D sus2 shape. So if you had a full D, obviously you'd be strumming that. If you take your second finger off the first string, you end up with this D sus2. So again, if you slide that up to the fifth fret, it gives you this minor inversion. They were basically like a D minor. So that's all you're doing, taking that finger off. So that's your first chord of the second section. The second chord then is just an A major 7. So if you had a full A minor, sorry, A minor 7. If you had a full A minor, that would that, be the same like that. If you take your third finger off, that's your A minor 7. So you've just got your first finger on the second string, first fret, and your second finger on the third fret of the fourth string so together this section sounds like this so that's your second section so both of those sections together sound like this Obviously, if you, if you listen to the record and play along with it, once you've got the chord shape sussed, that'll give you, you know, how many times you need to, to go over those patterns. Uh, I'm not going to do it completely on this video, so I just want to make it as short as I can. So that's your second section covered. The third section, um, 
He's playing, uh, it's like a lead into the chorus if you like. He's playing uh, an F shape. Basically again like a, a root six bar chord. But take your, your bar off and just then put your first finger on the second string of the first fret. So you just... And then after that chord, he goes then into this, uh, it's like an E sus 4. Which is basically like an E minor shape. But then you hold down the string below that, which is the fourth string on the second fret. Just gives you that E sus 4. And then from the E sus 4, you go to the full E. So that section would be. Then you've got the last section, which is again that same F shape. But instead of <coughs> excuse me, instead of doing the E sus four this time, you're just doing the E minor. So this is the the, the bit where he's singing the Council Scars bit. So it's the uh, I believe in magic, dedicated. that section so when you come out of that section and you've done the you know the council skies chorus bit you're just going straight back in then to the, uh, the the verse chords which is that b shape again and then the a sus two so that's basically all the chords for the song um there's a little bit that i did in the video where um, that i uploaded and it's just like following the melody line of um one of the guitar parts I think so it's, this is it so it's just on that A minor 7 but all you're doing is, is putting your little finger on the third fret and then you then if you put your first finger on the first string of the first fret and then lift it off and then back on and then slide back up to this like D sus two shape on uh, fret five. It just gives you that melody that's in the song, so it's. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I'll just put that in because it, it just follows that melody line. It makes it more interesting. But basically, that's it. That's all the chords you need for that song. Um, if you just practice it, listening to the record in the background, and you know, have it down low, and you just strum, you'll 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 get that rhythm pattern going, and you'll you'll be able to ascertain how many bars of each section you need. Um, but that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, so good luck with it. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope this has been useful. So leave me um, any message in the comments. You're not clear on anything, and I'll clarify anything. But uh, good luck with it. Cheers, see you again.